Hello, can everyone hear me? Yes, we can. OK, all right. So I think my headphone has some problem, but anyway. So can we start? So uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and Salam Malaysia Madani and Salam Sarawakku Sayang. Hello and welcome everyone and it is a pleasure having you today. For those who just joined us for today's webinar, welcome and we hope you have a pleasant weekend coming. Okay, so for today's webinar, it is organized by Association of Prof Professional Technicians and Technologies, APTT, and I am Nur Adzila Binti Muhammad, your moderator for today's session. Okay, as a housekeeping, before we get started, kindly be reminded that mic should be muted at all times, switch off your camera and recording is not allowed. If you have any question during the presentation, please type your questions in the chat box. Our team will compile all questions and we will bring it up at the end. Do note also that attendance will be given at the end of the webinar. Okay, so for today's webinar, we will have our invited speaker, technologist Dr. Yonis M. Buswick, with his topic, Battery Technology Towards Sustainable Energy. Welcome, technologist Dr. Yonis, and thank you for your time today. Is Dr. Yonis here? Technologist Dr. Yonis, are you there? Technologist Dr. Yonis, are you here? Yes, hello. Okay, Can hi, welcome yeah. and thank you. Yes. Okay, hi, you so doing? before yes. we start it, I would like to introduce today's presenter. Technologist Dr. Yonis M. Baswick is a lecturer at Faculty of Engineering, University Malaysia Sarawak, Unimas. He was appointed as a lecturer at Unimas since November 2016 until present. Before working with Unimas, he works with a few electrical company in Libya. He received his first degree from Omar al muhta University, Libya in 2008 with Bachelor in Engineering Honorable in Electrical Engineering. Then he obtained his Master in Engineering, Power Electronics and Energy Conversion System from University Tun Hussein on Malaysia, UTHM, in 2011, before obtaining his Doctor of Philosophy PhD in Electrical Engineering from also UTHM in 2016, with Power Electronics and Hybrid Renewable Energy System. His expertise, capability and trustworthiness are well known in the field of power electronics, intelligent control system and renewable energy through more than 10 years of experience in research design and development, where currently he leads three research grants with the total amount of more than 207 1,500 Ringgit Malaysia in UNIMAS and also as core researchers with UNIMAS and UTHM Johor. To date, he has garnered more than 10 years of experience in the electrical and electronics engineering field, both in the capacity as an engineer in international company engineering and company and academician in a higher learning institution. He hopes that through this experience and knowledge gain, he will be able to contribute more to development, particularly in engineering and energy related field, consultation and construction, especially in Sarawak and in Malaysia generally. Now, without further ado, we will turn the time over to our presenter, technologist Dr. Yonis M. Baswick, with his topic, Battery Technology Towards Sustainable Energy. Over to you, technologist doctor. Okay. Thank you so much for the presenting today. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you so much for this invitation, and hopefully I, today I can give you some some information. We can share together some information, and uh, yeah, this so on. Yeah. Uh, okay. So can I share my slide? Yes, I oh, think okay. you can. Okay. Thank 
OK, can you see my slide, everyone? Yes. Uh, OK, so uh, as the, thank you so much for introduction again. And just I want, uh, like I say, I want to share with you some of our, our 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 research here. Maybe I will share with you some of the uh, maybe lesser development for the energy, uh, better energy technology. And just we share together some information and end of this uh, uh, presentation, I will share with you also one of our project, our current project research regarding for the battery uh, battery system. OK, so the topic for this uh, for this uh, webinar would be uh, battery technology toward the sustainable energy. So as we know, as we know, as the give a short introduction, uh, battery technology currently is rapidly advanced to meet the growing of the demand of the sustainable energy. So as we know also the the, the sustainable terms it will be going very fast these days and these years. So the, the, the battery technology should be also increased because it should be the core and root for the discussion of all renewable energy technology in the future. Because the battery now uh, considered as the main player to uh, enhance the renewable energy resources, especially that we have it inside Malaysia. So what the battery promise? Promise to reliability, efficiency, clean power, to our home and industrial. Also to reduce the depend on the fossil fuels and also to reduce the impact in the climate change. So when I'm talking about the battery, actually, battery can be the core or the root for our renewable energy resources. So any one of you here inside at this webinar, if you're working with the renewable energy, he know exactly that renewable energy without the main brain, the main uh, player, the battery is nothing. So the battery in the renewable energy sector play the big rules to maintain the, uh, like I say, the efficiency for renewable energy. So if you look for the current state for the energy production, even, even with, with the advanced progress for the renewable energy, but still the traditional resources, especially fossil fuel, is still the, in the account for the majority of our energy production. So this will be a big challenge for us to beat the fossil fuel. So also with the population grow and also the increase the demand, so we have to speed up the evaluation or the evaluation or revelation for the battery technology to meet all the challenge of the sustainability and reduce the carbon emission. As we know, the climate change now, one of the hot topic in the area, in the in the in the in the in the all the research center and university. So I believe battery. Uh, can enhance the efficiency for renewable energy to beat the uh, the climate change effect and make our planet more clean. OK, so if I talk about the battery technology, we have advantage, advantage uh, advancement of the battery technology for the sustainable energy. So what we know, I just list here, here the type of the battery that we know it. So maybe the, the famous one is the lithium ion batteries. Why this battery is actually the famous? Because the cost. Actually, this cost, uh, the cost for this type of the battery, considered with other new batteries, considered as the lower one. So, if we're talking about the battery technology, can we directly talk about the lithium ion batteries? We can talk about the solid state batteries, and we can talk about the flow batteries. So, the flow batteries. So, with this pushing of the boundary of the energy storage, so all the solution should be come from the battery. Why? To make our battery longer lasting, more efficiency, and also to, to, to provide the demand for uh, any supply that we need. So actually, I will talk today about these three main, or the three, uh, maybe I think the main famous uh, batteries, which will be the lithium ion batteries, solid state batteries, and the uh, flow batteries, OK? So if you look for the lithium ion batteries, like I say, it's the most widely used because this rechargeable battery. And I think now we can find it everywhere. Our starting from our smartphone until the optical vehicle, smart optical vehicle, all now currently powered by lithium ion batteries. Like I say, the cost, the simplicity, and the long life terms for the lithium ion battery makes it that may be the, the big player or the change player for all the battery technology because they offering the high energy density, low self discharge and low lifespan. So I will not say the lithium ion battery is the best, but currently in the market later on, I will show you lithium ion battery is the best in the demand. 
So in the initial uh, in, in the addition of the advantage, we can see the lightweight of the battery. So if you're looking for other battery, I think the lithium ion battery could be and the beat the other in the sizing and also on the lightweight. OK, beside the low maintenance equipment. So all this factor could be make the lithium ion battery strong candidate for the power future or the power sustainable. So now if you go for other type, could be at the advanced type, it's called the flow batteries. This type of the batteries is also rechargeable batteries. Use it, use the liquid separate uh, between the membranes to storage the energy. This type of the battery currently is limited for use because only can be used for the long, for the high. Uh, I'm talking about the large system compared with others. So also this type of the battery can be offered the very low self, self discharging, low cost, for the large system. So that the, the maybe it could be the disadvantage of this type should be using for the large system. Could it cannot be used for the, uh, like I may say, a small scale application. Okay. Now we can go for the, the best one. I think that the, the advantage, the, 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 that one that could be the, the less technology, the solid state batteries. So the solid state batteries consider as the new technology and could be the next the, the next big thing for the battery technology. So because the size for this battery considered as small can be provide high energy density, fast charging time compared with the lithium battery and another flu batteries, and also can the most important thing, the safety compared with the lithium battery. The safety for the solid state battery is can be 100% more than the normal batteries. By the student, this type of battery using for the small or the macro operation of the macro uh, industrial. OK, so the solid state can be also the game changer for the for the consideration for the future sustainable energy. So if you're looking for this one beyond the, uh, the solid state, we have several type of the uh, batteries technology, especially for the lithium sulfur and also the metal air. This type of the battery is limited because it's not just because of the new technology, but also for the cost to build to make this type of the technology. OK, if you're talking about the metal air, this one very expensive technology and also about the lithium sulfur also considered as a new and had the need uh, really uh, high technology to build this type of the batteries. So if you're talking about all this type of the battery, what we need, all of them can provide high energy density and long lifetime. OK, so with continuum of this research development, the battery could be play, like I said, the big role for our future for the sustainability, because without battery, our all, uh, all our renewable energy could be uh, not give the good efficiency or maybe it cannot be enhanced our grid, maybe I'm talking about the uh, micro grid or the other type of the grid. OK, so I will share with you this uh, this uh, this uh, this uh, this source from the Bloomberg. You can see here how the high demand for the uh, for the lithium ion batteries until 2030. So this figure can be show you here how the cumulative for the lithium batteries for the especially for the electrical vehicles and the other small application can be growing in 2030. So like I say, lithium ion battery consider as the big player for the battery technology because the cost. The cost to make the lithium ion battery compared with other consider the lower devices or the lower technology to provide this type of the technology. So this one as figure for the Bloomberg is very for the stat uh, statistic uh, result show how the lithium battery could be the, the, the for the 2030 the number one uh, I think number one batteries for demand. Okay, so now also I want to share with you this interesting uh, this interesting information regarding for the global battery storage. So if you look up for the for the figure in the right side, you can see in 2019 only 100 gigawatts for five houses inside Malaysia. Can you compare this one with the 2030 with the high growth? We can find 181 to 421 gigawatt hertz for around 21 houses. That's mean the time is going, so the battery it will be the most important uh, devices and all our sustainable energy. Besides, also for the roadmap for the Malaysia in the 2025, 
the demand of the power or the target for renewable energy should be 31. So 2035 should will be target to 40%. So why I mean it by this slide to show you how the grow, fast and grow for the uh, batteries to uh, our sustainable future. So if you look over this slide here of this part, you can see in the 2034, the demand of the uh, battery, especially the lithium ion battery is very, very high. Okay, so this one, another source, maybe I can get from other from the RMI, talking about only in the ha first half of the 2019, 1.4 billion battery technology investment already started. So they will expect it in the 2038, Maybe all the, the all the devices or maybe all the applications, better electrical cars will be uh, without uh, without the gasoline car. So we'll be focusing about the battery. So this one also very interesting uh, statistic result to show you how the market for the battery and especially for the lithium ion batteries. So also I will show with you this market or this maybe this graph to show you how the lithium ion batteries growing from 90s until 2017. So it's obviously the lithium ion battery is growing very fast in the last years because like I said, the cost to make this type of batteries, especially now in the electrical vehicle cars that they will be focusing about the uh, lithium ion battery because the lights and the efficiency for this type of battery, even that don't have the long life term for the for the spend life life for the uh, the long charge, but consider as the lightest type of the batteries. So I've talked about the world has how it's getting the market. So we see in 2025 how the lithium battery jump from 2000 until 2025. So the lithium battery production has scored the highest. I think in 2025, based on the demand of the battery in the world. So by 2025, so around 480 gigawatts, it will be requested from the all demand in the world. So I believe this figure or this scale will be increased more with the years because the lithium ion battery, it will be the highest demand batteries. Okay. So now also I want, I want, I want to share with you something about some technology is called it. The, uh, uh, the behind uh, the meter. So I believe now some Malaysia, now some companies start to do this type of that technology, which called the behind the meter BTM batteries. This type of batteries, it will be connected behind the utility to reduce the electrical bill or to, to, to reduce, to aim into electrical bill saving. So currently now in Germany, around 40% of the roof, rooftop of, of the solar battery application has inserted BTM. Australia now, Australia now currently has one uh, aims to reach around 1 million BTM battery by 2025. And currently they have 21 system inserted based in the 2017. So this type of technology also from the battery is also related for the sustainable energy. So can give the different advantage based this and this advantage in the light figure on the left for the electricity consumption consumer. You can see it. Increase the self consumption, can be pickup power, also can save in the electrical bills, and also for the demand charge reduction. Also for the system operation, can be give some also some advantage like frequency regulation, network investments, and also big capacity for the investment type. Also, we not forget about the grid. So also this type of the technology supports and enhance the grid and in, in, in part of the replacement diesel generator, backup power and smooth for FDER. I'm showing you this slide to show you how the battery technology could be benefits for all sides and all parts. OK, so before I share with you our current research, just I will show you the challenge and opportunity that we're facing now for the uh, future sustainability. So as we start for the tower sustainable energy, all the battery technology that will be aimed to achieve the cost, safety, and lifespan. So this one could be the challenge to be overcome by this type of the uh, technology. So what should be the opportunity? Maybe new materials, a new design, and a new application that could be transferred the industrial to benefit uh, environment. Okay, now 
So now I would like to share with you one of our projects, our research that we had. We currently we work in our university here. We're using the uh, back propagation neural network control in order to invest to, 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 to estimate the state of a charge for the, our batteries. So the neural network control, especially for the back propagation neural network control, it will be estimate the uh, state of charge for our batteries to uh, enhance the uh, energy demand for all of them. So now I can share with you this one. It's uh, our ch our our uh, charging the charging an island for the our system. So this one our simulation system. So maybe in the future in any collaboration maybe you can work together. We have the battery bank. We apply the battery bank. Uh, uh, use this battery bank and use the uh, the neural network control to check the state of charge for each one of this battery. Then we design our battery management system to control the MBBT and also to uh, BV banners. So this type of the, of, the, of the technology also use the control system. So in this project, actually, we use the real time uh, with the battery bank and also we use the neural network control to estimate the state of a charge for our system. Also, I will show you our experimental. This one, our experimental currently now, we apply for this experimental using the DS, DS base 1104 microcontroller in order to uh, do the energy management system for the back of the batteries. So this one, our labs, and this one, the type of the battery that we use in order to uh, estimate the state of a charge for the sum of the battery. So the result for this now, currently now, we uh, we could enhance the uh, the life uh, spend time for the battery. Also, we enhance the energy management battery between the whole uh, the whole uh, hundred battery the, the the whole battery that we use. So the algorithm algorithm actually here used by the the MATLAB. Then we applied uh, to this base uh, 1104. And then we apply this uh, this this topology and this methodology for our battery to increase the efficiency for the whole system. Maybe soon we can share with you our 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 uh, our results in one of the our paper. Okay. This one the uh, the label for our devices. We use here the BV system. We use the uh, ion lithium batteries. We use the this base 1104 to control the whole system. So the MATLAB was here the main uh, main uh, player for the software to uh, to do the battery management system between the batteries. Okay. So for conclusion, I can say power, uh, powering the sustainable energy. So the technology could be uh, advanced, but still we need to uh, improve the type of the our batteries. So like I say. The cost, lifespan, and also the materials should be put under consideration to provide cheaper, affordable, and high capacity and efficiency uh, batteries. Okay, thank you so much for your attention. I, uh, I, I reduce my slide for timing. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you, Doctor. Okay, I hope. You all enjoyed this amazing presentation. Now, we will go ahead and take some time for questions now. Just a reminder, please be sure to type your questions in the question box in your chat box. Okay, we'll give some time for you for you, any questions. Okay, we have one here for you, Dr. Yonis. Yes. Are you ready? Yes. OK, do we have an in-house capability to produce one-on-one -on -one scale size from start to end production in Malaysia institution, especially Sarawak to be precise? Yes, uh, actually, are you talking about the manufacturing for the battery, right? Uh, I, I guess, I think, yes. Yes, actually, uh, the, the, the main thing currently now for the, for the manufacturing for the battery is the materials. Yes, as you, as you know, the material to, 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 to fabricate and maybe I can say to produce the battery is quite difficult as technology because the material actually to be very expensive and limited in the world. So, for example, currently China is leading the world to produce the battery, especially for the Leon FM batteries, because the resources for the specific material to produce this type and create this type of the batteries. So, uh, 
for the for the for the our institute in Sarawak here and Malaysia generally, I can say we can do the uh, the, the, the 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 we play with the technology to enhance the the batteries based in the algorithm based in control better based in the battery management system, and so like 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 what we're doing now in our university here, we're using the algorithm to 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 enhance the efficiency for battery. We not fabricate our battery, but we use the control and uh, uh, the machine learning and uh, uh, AI technology in order to enhance the uh, the battery life and the efficiency for the for the for the for the whole batteries. So, for example, like I mentioned, we work with the SOC, state of a charge for each battery. So we use the algorithm and control to protect and uh, stability for the SOC to give me the high. Uh, high efficiency for the battery, but we cannot currently now, I believe that we cannot uh, produce or maybe fabricate uh, the battery inside our labs. OK, that's it. Thank you, Dr. Yanis. Any more questions from the ground? I have one for you, Doctor. OK. Yes. What happened if people don't implement this sustainability. Yeah, you mean about sustainability you... general, yeah? Yes, and the sustainability energy. I mean, now you were talking about battery technologies towards sustainable battery. Yes. What if no one don't realize it now? What will happen at the end? Yeah, because actually, yeah, that's very good, very good question. Why, 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 why I choose this topic? Actually, because the main, the main point for our, our, for 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 for, for using the battery to enhance the renewable energy. So when you enhance the efficient for renewable energy, you can use it and instead it, the, you can replace it with the fossil fuels. So when you reduce the using and the consumption for the fossil fuel, this means you already uh, help. I mean, you reduce the impact for the emission of the CO2. In the same time, it will be support the climate change. So it would be like one chain connected together. If you enhance the battery, you can enhance the renewable energy, you can reduce the CO2 and you can enhance the climate change and you reduce the, the CO2 emission and save the, the, the planet. So this one, the main, main concept to using the battery for the sustainability. OK, thank you. Right. So what's the difference between solar and renewable? The, for example, solar energy and this battery technology. Yeah, actually, uh, solar solar without battery is nothing. Actually, <laughs> so as Correct. long as you have battery and battery storage system is the right efficiency storage system, that means you you already enhance and you support your system. So, for example, if you have, for example, hundreds of the solar or the solar panels, but you don't have the sufficient and smart and I say the good. Uh, uh, battery system, especially the energy battery system, this means you already uh, you already dispose of all your energy. Because I take on about renewable energy need batteries. Without batteries, I think the renewable energy yes, should yes. be like lossless. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yes, understand. All right, thank you. Okay, any question from our participants? I'll give a few minutes for for you. Just type your question in the chat box and I'll read it out. For Dr. Yes. Yanis to yeah, answer. I think someone here asking what the suitable type for the storage uh, for the for solar panel. I would say, uh, yeah, this one he say what the suitable type for the renewable in for the solar panels is the lithium okay, batteries. Okay. Yeah, lithium okay. batteries prove it now. I can send for him uh, some resource. Lithium ion battery prove it now is the best uh, choice for the solar energy in terms of the cost, in terms of the capability, in terms of the charge. Right. Is that answering your question, Arif? OK, so I move on. We have one from T.S. Hillary Goh. OK, the mining of raw material for lithium battery is not very environmental friendly. Any solution for this problem? Yeah, so so the solution, I can't give you the solution. The solution could be by the energy management system, something called EMS or the BMS battery management system. So if you can enhance or maybe you can do smart battery management system, you can reduce the number of the battery. So for example, you have 100 batteries and poor control system. OK, so compare with you have 10 batteries with the smart control system. So which one better? 
the 10 batteries. So I believe the raw materials to, to create the lithium battery is really affecting the environment, affect the environment because they have some materials, the chemical materials to create it. But I believe with the technology in the, in the future, maybe we can find some of the material that can be friendly and will be maybe equal for the for the environment. But I'm still now. What we're doing now in our research, this this very good questions. So now instead of the increase the number of the battery, so now what we are doing, reduce the number of the battery, but we enhance the control system. Let's call it battery management system. So my system, it will be work with the 10 batteries and give efficiency efficiency better than 100 batteries. So this one, one of our goal now for our research. So smart control system provides high efficiency with less number of batteries. And this one comes with AI. Actually, we use the neural network control, the BNN just now I show, uh, to uh, estimate the SOC. So the SOC is the set of a charge for each battery. So what we are doing now, we estimated the SOC for each battery, and then we regulate it based in the state for each battery in the real time. So the control and this B board and the this base uh, 1104, it will be read the SOC for each battery, and then it will be give the suitable battery management system for the whole system. All right, thank you. I hope that answers you, TS Technologies Hilary Go. Okay, we have another one here, Dr. from Jaffa bin Omar. What is the lifespan of the lithium ion battery? Yeah, so it's a very good question. The lifespan for the battery actually is now currently because the, the lithium ion battery is now becomes more advanced compared with the previous. So, like I say, so depends on the number. So, if you have big number of the lithium battery. Lithium battery is the good and have the costly, it's not very costly to, 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 to provide, but need big number. So compare with the solid state and compare with other. So I can say, I cannot give you the exactly life, life spin for the lithium battery because this one depends in the location and depends on the application. So for example, if you use the, live, the lithium ion batteries with different type of the solar panel, this one will be affect the life uh, spin of the battery. So different solar panel to give different uh, life life spins for the each uh, lithium ion batteries. So uh, the the answer for this one depends on the application that we use for the uh, for the for the lithium ion batteries. It means the the the, the heavy the lot the longer the last span la, That's what you mean, is it? Yes, but but also the type of the solar panel, the 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 the, mm -hmm. the, the power that generated from the power is it. Uh, is it purely power? I mean, is it high efficiency power to 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 determine the life spend for each one of them? All right, thank you, Doctor. I hope that answer you, um, Jaffa bin Omar. Okay, moving on to the next question, Doctor, from Muhammad Nur Muhammad Nur Nur Fariza. What about recyclability of the battery itself? Yes, we have this. We have the choice actually in Malaysia. Here, many companies do that recyclable for the batteries. But now we back again for the environment. The process to recyclable this type of battery, it would be like you double the production for this battery. So the recyclable also consider as can be helped the sustainable, but also will be include some chemical like we say in the field and uh, the previously still affect the environment. But recyclable battery could be one of the best solution to recyclable the, 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 the big number of the battery instead of the buy or maybe instead of the produce a new one to, to, to go to get the raw materials. So recyclable could be help, but could do, cannot be help really sustainability issue. Okay, thank you, Dr. I hope that answer you, Muhammad Nur Nur Fariza. Okay, next, Dr. from CRISPR. What is the difference between sodium ion battery and lithium ion battery? Okay, so uh, okay, this one. So 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 for the lithium ion battery, actually, have the simplicity for the construction. This means two materials with the current bus, so change with electronic. For the sodium one, we have the maybe we have the specific low, raw li liquid in order to make the 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 the, the like i say the, the the section to be in interface between the electron to electronic so i can say sodium ion batteries maybe can be advanced for the lithium ion batteries but still the lithium ion battery better in the capacity so that by the center for the solar energy always using the lithium ion battery because it has the high capacity for the uh, for the voltage density 
Okay, thank you. I hope that answers you, Risper. Okay, so any anything from the participant? Any questions? Anything from the ground? Okay, so it looks like we have all covered the questions. So technologist Dr. Yonis, is there anything else you wanted to cover before we wrap up? Uh, yeah, thank you so much. Uh, yes, I want to add one thing. If any researcher here took an work with batteries, you have to yeah, please focus about the control battery management system. Don't focus about the materials exactly for the batteries. Because like we say, the, battery, the material of the battery could be expensive, could be difficult to find, could, could be difficult to fabricate it. But the control management power between this battery could be the best answer. So if any student here of anyone maybe do work with battery, you have to work with the control battery management system for the batteries, not the battery itself. So by good control, maybe you can save time, you can save money, and also you can uh, give the high efficiency. So this is what I can say. All right. Thank you, technologist Dr. Yonis. So I think maybe anyone who are shy to ask question here, maybe Technologies Dr. Yonis can share your contact in the chat box so that the other participant can contact you personally if they want to ask you any question. Is it okay for you, Technologies Dr.? Yeah, sure, perfect. I already put it here. Okay. All right. All right. Moving on. As a token of appreciation, on behalf of the Chairman Association of Professional Technicians and Technologies, APTT, IR Technologies Ahmad Zawawi, we would like to present the certificate to our presenter, technologist Dr. Yanis M. Baswick, for his remarkable presentation. Thank you once again, technologist Dr. Yanis M. Baswick. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And uh, sorry because I make my slide very short because I want discuss with the I want more discussion. You know. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right. No problem. All right. So before we wrap up, I would like to invite everyone to switch on your camera for our photo session. Okay. So switch on your camera, everyone. Is everyone ready? Are you ready, Belle? Ready. Okay, if everyone can turn on your camera. Okay. Uh, ready? One, two, three. One more time, yeah. One, two, three. Okay. All right. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Thank you again, Technologies Dr. Yonis, for Thank answering so those questions Thank and also so for the representation. It was a pleasure to have you with us. We hope that the battery technology can hold the keys to powering towards a sustainable energy. As this concludes the webinar, on behalf of APTT committee members, we appreciate your presence. We hope you have learned and enjoyed this webinar. Thanks again for joining us today, and we will Thank see you, so you again next time. And stay safe, Thank everyone. Thank you okay? so much. So, All right. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Dr. Yanis. See Thank you. All right. So, attendance is on the screen, so kindly scan QR code above as attendance for e-certificate purposes. All right, thank you everyone. I'll see you again. Bye.